Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a product specialist with Isotope, and I'm here today at DV247 to talk about Isotope's Iris. So Iris is Isotope's first virtual instrument, and we really wanted to do something a little bit different. It's both a sampler and a synthesizer, and we took the spectral technology made famous with Isotope RX, and we applied it to an instrument. So here is a basic view of Iris. I have a waveform of a sample, which I'll play you very quickly. And you can drag and drop a sample straight from your desktop, or you can open one of the many samples in your DAW. It's already mapped across a keyboard. Iris has automatic pitch detection, so as soon as I drop in a sample, it detects the root pitch of that sample, maps it across the keyboard, and I can instantly play it back. If I move this slider at the bottom of the screen, you'll see I'm bringing in an image of my spectrogram. Now this is an image of my sound. Across the bottom I have my time from left to right, and then from bottom to top, I'm going from my low to my high frequency. So if I play the sample again, you can really see an image of what's going on inside the sound. Now that we can really see what's going on inside our sound, I can see that there's some sort of bell events going on over here and, and here. And if you look to your left, we have a panel of selection tools. And there's lots of different tools available. If I choose the brush tool, now I can say, OK, let's draw around this sample of a bell right here. And now when I play on my keyboard, I'm playing back only certain sounds I've extracted from my audio file. So you could take a sound from anywhere, anything, and pull out individual elements that are inside that sound. We even have some more advanced tools, the magic wand tool. I can click once, and it will automatically select a harmonic. I can click again, and it will select additional harmonics. And I can do that throughout the file, and now I'm going to be playing just a bell. So without knowing anything about synthesis, I can draw with my sound. If I go over here, though, I do have a synth panel. So those selections I've now made, I can apply synthesis parameters to. I can turn on my LFO and assign it maybe to my pan. We have some fantastic isotope effects, some chorus, a reverb. There's also a delay and a distortion module inside there. And radius RT, which will keep the sample at exactly the same length and change the pitch up and down the keyboard. So now that I have some synthesis parameters and I'm drawing with my sound, I can actually do this three times over with three different layers, and you'll see those layers here. So now I have uh, one, two, three different types of bell sound, and you'll hear as I start to play, they're far removed from what they once were. Iris also includes a mix view, where I can edit every single parameter of each sample, as well as go into more detail with the effects, and then maybe apply a filter and an envelope to my overall channel. Iris also ships with a whole mixture of over 500 presets and 3.5 gigabytes of sample content, though of course you can drag and drop your own sounds as you please and go out there, record anything and everything, and you have the image of your sound and you can draw with it like you never could before. The presets range from production leads and basses and, and keys to some advanced spectral soundscapes and ambient pads and, and all sorts of experimental sounds as well.